So I don't have a table saw. So the first thing I'm going to have to do here is go along these pieces of wood and sand down the spots where the the wood doesn't quite meet together, causing these opening gaps. It shouldn't be too bad, but there's probably going to be a lot of sanding that I'm going to have to do by hand. I just got done using that planer, and it's not the best, but that gap that was there is quite a bit smaller, which is uh, pretty good in my book. I'm going to have to sand these edges. They got pretty thrashed. Uh, these were just pieces of scrap wood that a friend of mine gave to me, and I figured ah, I'll make something out of that. So they're pretty destroyed on some edges, but I think I can smooth that out. So I've picked at and tried to sort of sand out and carve away all these little broken bits of wood and splinters, and I I'll, it just keeps splintering more and more. I think what I'm going to have to do is um, stabilize it a bit with some resin and then go back over it and sand it, and I think that's going to be the best it's going to be. I've got some resin that I can use on this, just like paint over the surface a little bit and then sand away at it after, so might just have to do that because it really... I don't know what happened to this. I can understand why they were going to use it for firewood. <laughs> the worst thing to do for this? I don't know. It's just my idea. Not bad.
Oof.
It worked. Now here's the problem pieces. These are the sides. These are going to be the sides of the, uh, the TV stand. This is what um, the little pegs on the side of this are supposed to go into. And I marked out the holes, if you can see, with a pencil. And I tried to drill out one of the holes earlier today with one of the bits that I had, um, that I had bought, which should have been the right size. And... Well, it didn't really work, like at all. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and I'm going to get some rasps and maybe some files and I'm going to try to work this into the right shape. Okay, so we're at the Home Depot. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can find some rasps and files in there, so I'll be right back. Found him. I'm weak. Don't judge me. So I did get some extra stuff, but... And uh, in hindsight, I feel like I needed all of it. So we're back from Home Depot. Uh, I got the files and the uh, rasps that I needed to fix the holes in the sides of the TV stand pieces, the ones that I was having a problem with last night. But I did forget one vital item that I was supposed to pick up, which was more clamps. I. I just completely forgot to pick up more clamps. I found the rasps and I found the little sanding discs as a little bonus. And I was just like, ooh, and a rubber mallet, that would be useful. And then I just completely forgot about the clamps. So I think I can just do this. I think I can do it with one clamp. It's not going to be as tight a fit on the bottom shelf, but I'm not like super concerned about that. It's not going to be holding up as much stuff as the top shelf is going to be. And the top shelf is already a solid piece of wood. So I feel like that's kind of okay. So we're just gonna continue this project with one clamp and hopefully that'll be enough for what I'm trying to do. <laughs>
I was sweeping. Yeah, she was sweeping. <laughs> Do you though? I'm sweepy. Sweepy. Oh, I understand. <laughs> sweeping. Yep. I'm going to sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Drill more holes first. Also, to be clear, I know this is like the dumbest way to hollow out a hole in a piece of wood. I really should just get the tools that are right for it, but I just don't have them, so. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it works well enough. Oh, shit. Well, I'm sure if you uh, know anything about woodworking, you knew that this was gonna happen. Okay, so I've been sanding and filing and sanding and filing and filing and sanding and sanding and doing more filing and then sanding and then filing and then doing more sanding and filing. And I finally have this looking like a square. Look at that. Wow. It's pretty dang ugly. I'm not gonna lie. The back had a lot of tear out. Like, look at this. It, not great. That's unfortunate. But I did, I did learn some things, I did learn what not to do, and I did learn what to do. And this is going on the bottom anyway, so it's not going to be a really big issue. But it's finally time to see if this fits. And I think it is going to fit. I'm going to take off my safety glasses for a minute, so I can see. And I just wanted to try and get this on camera in case it actually... Like, I'm pretty sure it's going to fit. Okay. Yes. good fit. It's pretty janky, but it fits. I think I'm gonna have to sand down, well, file down the top bit of this, this part right here a bit more. I think I do know what I'm gonna do next time for the next one. I, I'm not gonna do it this way again because it did not work very well. I went really overkill, or Nick, I guess not overkill. I wasn't doing it in a way that was smart. I was just doing it in a way that I was just like, whatever, I'll just throw everything at this. Maybe it'll work. And, um, yeah, I still don't know what this wood is, but it's very, very hard to wear down. Hopefully the smaller holes will be easier to do because they won't be as thick. I don't even know what time it is. I've been working on this. I've been sanding and filing on this thing for like, hours. I, I don't even have my phone on me. I don't know what time it is today, right now. I'm gonna keep working at it and see, see what we can do. So I know that a working folding table like this probably isn't the best. And I am going to get some better work, workstation equipment, I guess. I'm gonna get a better setup soon, hopefully. So I won't just be working in this nightmare comp all the time. <laughs> As a guide for where I'm going to drill the holes, because they don't match up on the bottom. It's a bit further out than it was, than I thought it would be. Which doesn't make much sense, but... That's how this whole project has been going, so it's not a big deal.
check again. Sure. Yeah, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. Okay. Oh, I think that's perfect. Yeah, it's going on the other side. Yo! Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Oh, and that is really, just even with one peg that's really on there. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. All right, so here's my next idea for drilling out these holes. I'm gonna use this half inch uh, bore bit, and I'm gonna drill out 12 holes, and then I don't know how I'm gonna clear out this middle bit, but I'll probably just drill some smaller holes and then like break that center piece out and then I just have to clean up the edges and that should be easier than what I did last time. We'll see. I'm using the smaller drill bit this time because it seemed to work a little bit better with, uh, with this bit and keeping it centered. So I think that's what I'm going to do for this. I'm going to drill all the little holes and then I'm going to go in with this one. This is what I should have done the first time around. This is working so well. Dang, look at that. All right, that looks pretty good. I think this piece is gonna be a lot easier to knock out than whatever I was doing beforehand. Yo! Hey, look at that! That's not half bad. Check that out. This is going to be so much easier to clean up than how it was looking before. Okay, so quick update. Uh, we've got holes in both of these pieces of wood. Uh, the first one I did on camera and you guys saw. And the second one I did partly on camera, and I basically just finished filing out the inside of it and fitting it to the other plank, flange, I'm not sure what to call this. The other little bit that's sticking out. So it fits on the end of that, which is nice. Um, now the only the last two things I need to do are cut these, the small top holes, which are gonna suck probably as much as the bottom holes did, but maybe not quite as much, because I think I have a bit that's the same wideness as these that's also the nice quality bit, so I think that's going to be a little bit easier. So I just finished cutting the hole out of the top notch for this board. Uh, it was a lot harder than the small, than the bigger ones, surprisingly enough. Uh, I thought that they were going to be a lot easier, but I was wrong. Which is kind of a, a running theme for this project, is me being wrong about how to do something, and then it being kind of, like, poorly done. But, like, that's okay. I haven't done woodworking in quite a while, so I'm not really worried about this project turning out subpar. Uh, I mainly just kind of wanted a new TV stand, so it's okay. But, I've gotten this notch to a point where it's going to fit on this little peg. So I thought I would show you guys in the video, just because it's kind of exciting. Because it, it took a while. Oh my god, did it take a while. So check this out. 
Uh, wow, perfect. It fits just like that, absolutely flawless. There's abs no gaps, absolutely no gaps whatsoever here. I'll give you guys a close-up look of it. As you can see, it's just flawless. Absolutely perfect with, with no gaps whatsoever. I'm kidding. I, I hope you know that I'm kidding. There's gaps everywhere, especially that. Holy shit, that's a bad gap. Like, that's like a whole quarter inch. That's pretty bad. But it doesn't matter. This is for me, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, it's... Oh! <gasps> yes! Nice! Oh, look at that. That one fits better than the other one. A little bit. Yeah, it's pretty good. To drill all the ending holes, and we're good to go. So all the pieces are finally done, so I'm going to do my best to sort of fit them together. I'm not going to put them together like officially yet, but I do want to try and fit all of them together and just see how it, has, how it looks, how it's going to look I suppose. I'm pretty excited about this part because whew, this has been a lot of work. A lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be relatively easy, but I was wrong. Yo! Check it out! I'm so pleased with this. I'm so happy with how this looks. It actually came together. And it feels pretty solid. It doesn't even have the little pegs yet. Oh, it's going to look so cool when it's done. I, when I first made this project, I was like planning to glue a bunch of things, and I was planning to, like, use nails and stuff, and unintentionally I've used no glue, no nails, or anything with this project. It's literally just little wooden pegs holding everything up. I will say I might actually add some stabilizers for these outer ones, though. They wiggle a little bit, and I don't like that. So I might drill holes on the outside and just put pegs through there and there, and here and here, so they don't flex as much. So after thinking it over, I am going to be adding a little bit of glue to this project. I feel like I want to fill in these little gaps here with a mixture of wood dust and glue. I don't want it to give me splinters, <laughs> is the thing. Because when I sand this, I want it to be really nice and smooth. Like right here, there's like no gaps right here. It's so nice. But over here, there's big gaps. And when I was running my hand across it, I, uh, well, I... I cut my hand. So I think wood glue is going to be something that I do want to do with this. Ah, this might work a little bit better. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, I was like, don't I have like a paint scraper around here somewhere? I made a mistake and put wood glue on my fingers. 
Don't make the same mistakes as me. Well, that's trying. I'm gonna go ahead and do some sanding. pieces are sanded now, so I guess that just means I uh, need to put the finish on them and then cut the little pegs and then put it all together. So all the pieces are done now. All I have to do is put it together and I am so excited about how this is going to look. It's so smooth. Everything is so nice and smooth. Like just wow. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. So I got all the little pegs cut. So it should be ready to go. It should be able to all fit together. And I've got the new holes cut for the little stabilizer pegs for the bottom shelf. And oh, that should work. <laughs> Hopefully, um, I might have to. I'm probably gonna have to cut off part of the pegs after I put it together, so there will be that as a little bit of cleanup. But other than that, should just all fit together really nicely. There we go. Yeah, those holes line up. Just like that, this project's done! I... Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's definitely a little rough around the edges, and nothing on this is accurate. 
but that's kind of okay. I kind of like it. It has charm to it. I, I like, I actually like how all of this wood here in the front is really thrashed. I originally wasn't sure what I was going to do with that, and I ended up filling in the little criv crevasses and divots with a bit of resin to stabilize them, and then I sanded them smooth, and it just adds kind of a weird, a weird aspect to it that I really like. And now I finally have a TV stand, a place to put my TV. Maybe I can actually play games on it now. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I haven't done any project videos yet like this, so uh, if you like it, feel free to like and subscribe, and if you want to see more content like this, more big craft projects, please let me know in the comments because uh, I really enjoyed this, so I kind of want to do more things like this. Alrighty, see you guys next time. Bye!